Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you the Man um, a Mandalorian set. This is the ATST Rider, and um, the set number is 75254. Recommended ages are 8 and up. And the, um, and the, here are, of course, 540 pieces. You come, the characters come with the Mandalorian, Cara Dooney, Cara Doon, um, and Killerin Riders, or whatever. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on to those minifigures. So this is a weird setup to be doing, and of course, as you see, we have the minifigures right here. So without further ado, let's go on to the first figure. The first figure that we have here is the Mandalorian. And the design here is pretty cool for the Mandalorian, as you can see. Um, good, good lighting here, but as you can see, he has this new um, gun, and of course, that is his pistol that he does use in the um, Mandalorian. And then he also has this cool new head, which is in black. He also has this cool new cape, which is brand new, and um, taking off the cape and everything, you can look at his torso printing, which if you want to look at the torso printing, you can see how it has all those little straps and everything. Now this is, um, I've not been watching Mandalorian, I started watching it, but then I lost interest, but I will be watching it again, maybe later this week, or maybe later, but, um, I was gonna make a custom showcase for the Mandalorian. I was gonna use the Stormtrooper first, the Stormtrooper helmet from the First Order, and I was gonna sharpie that black and sharpie it silver and make the T on the top. But then I got this set out of nowhere, which my mom got from me. So thanks, mom. And then we have the legs, which are pretty cool. And um, if you have not seen many superheroes today or Ben's Bricks Emotions. Or, um, Nico 2064, they've already been showing how to upgrade him and how to upgrade these figures, so go check out those channels. Mini Superheroes Today is a really, um, cool YouTuber that I like a lot, his ideas and stuff like that. And sometimes, he's cool. So, uh, but yeah, that's the Mandalorian, and of course, what's his identity? You guys already saw, it's a blackhead. Because they didn't know at the time what he would look like, but we all know what he would look like. Spoilers coming in 3, 2, 1. I haven't even watched Mandalorian. But if you wanted to make an unmasked Mandalorian, what you would have to do is you would have to take this black head off. Use the new and improved um, ben, so um, ben Solo's head from the Force Awakens set. And, um, when they're on, like, the White Island and stuff like that, because he has a scar on his face, and then use the Harry Potter hair from 2018. And, of course, you would have a really good design for him. Yeah, that is the Mandalorian. And, um, what sucks is that Baby Yoda is not in the set, and we've been asking for Baby Yoda. And I have a really cool version of Baby Yoda on eBay, but he is a lot of money. He's, like, 64, 64, or $74. He's, like, a lot of money. But he is a complete, really cool version. And then, Christo Customs have already made the Baby Yoda, and he looks awesome. But I can't purchase it because it won't show up on their website. Yeah, that's the Mandalorian, and let's get him out of here. Let's go on to the next figure, which is Cara Dune. Cara Dune. And I don't know that much about this character. I know who, what she looks like, and um, this is kind of what her outfit looks like. But I never... Um, saw her on the Mandalorian, but she has this cool new gun, and which is just a lightsaber hilt and a long rifle, and then she has this black hair, which I think this is my first time ever getting this hair in black like this, um, I have gone with, with Gamora, but I, this is my first time, she has a happy expression, and uh, a happy expression, she has a mole on her face, and she has a mad expression. Of course, she has her back torso printing, which if you want to zoom in, we can do that. And as you see right there, she has great torso, back torso print, and front, and awesome legs. 
The other is Kara Dune. And I don't know that much about this character, so... Yeah. Let's put a rifle and over here. And this is probably a new setup to all of you guys, but this set is so big that I can't actually review it where um, I'm supposed to review it. But, um, yeah, and this, these are where I get my custom parts from. This is, of course, I have to look at the box for this character because I don't even know his name. But his name is, um, his name is... Colatoony Raider, Colatoon Rainer Raider, and um, of course, as you can see on this figure, he has this um, new head print. And if we remove this, um, which this piece actually is not new, yes, this piece is not new. This have came on Ultron. This was debuted on Ultron, but they decided to reuse it for him. So I have not seen this piece in a very long time in sets. Maybe it has been in Jago or any set. But taking a look at the figure head, um, you can see that he has a lot of good, good printing on him. As you can see on his head, he has a really mad expression, and then he has this great torso print which if you can see that is great and then he of course he has great leg printing yeah that is him and then of course he has this gun which is pretty simple if you ask me and we're gonna put him back together again and then we're going to move on to the next figure. Oh, and if you wanted to upgrade this, shout out to Nico2064 because um, f um, his idea you could use the Abraham Lincoln's arm from Apocalypseburg. That would be a pretty cool use. Yeah, there he is. And we'll put his gun on later. But um, he's actually going to be the one who's actually going to be in the ATSC writer. Um, but next we have this dude, which is another Calhoun rider. Raider. And he has two guns right here, which is pretty cool, but we're going to remove those right now. So you can look at this. And this has debuted on Ninjago and stuff like that. So I've seen this piece used before. As you can see, you can make him look like a rhino. So if you wanted to do a custom rhino, you can do that like, like this. That would be pretty cool. But um, taking this off, you can see the head right here. The same exact head that had the other dude had. But let's take that off. We have this awesome vest, which gives me a lot of Nancy or something vibes. And, of course, he has the same legs as the other dude, so this dude's pretty much the same. The only thing is a new neck brace, a new gun. This is not new, but a, this neck brace, a new gun, and a really cool torso. But yeah, there he is. And let me stall and put him back together, and then we will move on to the ATST right. ATST Rider. Raider. Yeah, let's put these minifigures back together and put their um, guns on. I know I'm stalling, but let's just. No, we're not going to. So here is the ATST Rider. And as you see, this thing is massive. So we're going to start off with the feet, and then we're going to go on to the knees and then the head and then the torso but if you we can see the um, knees right here as you can see this has a sticker on it and this has two stickers on the side same exact stickers i think on each side and then as you see we can go up and you can see another sticker which was very hard to put on these stickers are hard to put on and you go up and um, as you can see we have these sides which is a very, a lot of Technic pieces. We have this little knee kind of heel joint. You go up right here, and as you can see, you have the turntable, which if you turn this, we will show you later. These have two stickers on the back, too. And then moving on, we have on the lower knee things right here, you can see how really cool his knees are. And then you have this right here, where you can, of course, rotate the um, ATST, which I'm going to show you right now to the best of my ability. But 
as you can see, but I like putting it in one stance only so it can sit flat. And then you have the connection to the torso, which you have all these wires that are on this leg, which go into a lot. This part right here was really hard trying to put the um, Technic and the um, um, Flick Fire missiles in the same exact spot. That's what they were used for. But of course, you have this little thing right here, which this thing spins. And of course, what you this is the connection because this thing is loose, but this is the connection to the body. And then you go on to the back, and this is my favorite part about the Mandalorian set, is how much detail. It's so simple, but it's so good at the same time. But if we can zoom in, this kind of looks like the upside-down door. But if you can see, it has a whole bunch of balloon, the painter things. That's what I call them, painter things. Man, this camera won't even focus. Focus on this! Yeah, yeah, if I can. Yeah, as you can see, it has stickers on the side right there that kind of look like chocolate bars. And then you have a whole bunch of painter things right here, which the painters actually use. And, but yeah, there's that part. And if you're wondering what this is, this is actually a turntable, so you can actually... You can actually do this, which is really cool. And if you look at the side of the helmet, you have a sticker, a gun, the shield pieces in gray. And um, I wish I had that at the time when I was making a character, which I cannot say. It's in Frozen Chronicles, which is coming this 20th. Now, it won't come out in the morning because um, it got rescheduled. So it'll come out in the afternoon, kind of. Um, but it'll come out, like, later. Like, you'll see your time. But I'll just upload it and you guys just check it out and it has a sticker right here go on to the back and it has a whole bunch of tea it kind of looks like a mandalorian face if you can take the mandalorian right here it kind of looks a lot like a man the mandalorian face which is a tea right there but um then it has two circular disc and then we go into the interior which if you want to go into the interior you just lift up this flap oh yeah you can also move these things lift up this flap it's very dark in there if we can actually get the light in there but as you see inside you have a gun you have a place to sit a minifigure and then you have this kind of thing back here this thing and then you have these things which can't move or do anything and then you can get in there you can see that there is a sticker right there And that is super bright, but let's just turn that down for a bit. Yeah, as you can see right here, you can see the main, uh, this, which if I can focus, there's supposed to be a targeting sticker yep and that's not gonna focus oh my god why won't this focus I think I'm gonna need to lay it down yeah I'm gonna need to lay it down alright then boom there we go Now, as you can see, we have a little targeting thing in there, which I'll probably just remove. Let me remove this. Just remove this, because this piece just won't cooperate. And then I removed it. It's really easy to, but this is what it looks like. And that won't even focus. Wow. Alright, but anyway, you can see the tractor on there 
And as you can see, all the panels and stuff like that. And it just goes in very simply in there. And last but not least, let's put in a figure so you guys can see what it looks like. And then we have my most least favorite part um, of the video. Not the play feature is great, but um, the play. Um, but in real life, catching this on camera is going to be super hard. But um, as you can see, you can fit the color tuner or whatever his name is, Goon, in there. And you can, of course, close that up. You can move these so you make it look like, um, I don't know, like the eyebrows are growing in or something like that. And, um, yep, that piece just decided to fall off. But, um, it's this. But yeah, no, don't tilt your eyebrows all the way in, kids. Don't do that. It's not going to be a good scene. And this set, yep, that piece just decides to fall out. I, I fall out of the game. I get it. Okay. Yeah, no one gets that joke. Okay. But yeah, of course, it has to fall out during the video. Yeah, don't tilt these eyebrows all the way in. Because, yeah, it won't come out, but yeah. But yeah, let's remove this dude so we can get on to the next part, which is pretty cool. But if you can see very closely onto this head, you can see something. And um, what is it, actually? Yeah. You go onto the side of the head, and if you've already seen this already, um, then it's cool and all. But right here is the little thing right here. If we can get in the light right there, that'd be perfect. But we have a little flick fire missile right here. And as you see, if you push this, which I'm going to try to get a really good angle, but if you push it, it goes flying and it's gone forever. But of course, you have extras. So I'll probably look for that after the video. It went over the corner somewhere, but of course you have extras, so that's what they look like. And um, let me put that back in so I don't have to um, mess with that. But there we go. And of course you get one extra. So if you and I suggest you leave these out because if you want these sets to go on for a really long time. You either, when you're playing a game, you are either put them in there, but if you leave them in there for display, that's not a good idea because there's a spring in here, and the spring, when you push that, the spring pushes out, pushes out this, and um, if you get rid of the spring every single time you keep, like, when you stretch a spring, you know how it doesn't work anymore, it turns into a ball, and don't work anymore, it's pretty crap, but um, if, say if you're a grown adult and you keep these kids, for your kids, which I doubt that's going to happen, um, you're going to want this set to last for a very long time. So, yeah, that is the Mandalorian set. I will be having maybe some upgrade videos for the Mandalorian set. Let me get everybody situated and good. And I will look for that um, thing. She'll probably be gone forever. And uh, I, will, I will not have a Baby Yoda video. Yes, I know you guys have been asking me to do it. But do it. Um, you guys have not been asking me, but everyone has been like, I feel like uh, Baby Yoda, and I'm like, oh no, just wait until an SDCC version of it comes out, it's probably going to happen, it's probably going to have the new updated um, Mandalorian, but of course, that is it, and if, tell me in the comments below if you guys like this setup, or, um, or if this setup is due to, and you can do that, oh yeah, also this rotates. We're going to look at the instruction manual, and then we're going to look at the box, and then we're going to be done. So let's get started on to the box. The box is big, of course. It's a Mandalorian set. Now, it's really big. It covers the whole thing up, but we're going to need to go all the way back, and that is the upside-down set. We have to go all the way back. And as you can see, mind flare. As you can see, the box is really big, and... Um, yeah, that's a really big box, and if you want to go on to the other side, you can see how it shoots and does a lot of cool stuff. And all the things I just showed you is right there. And, um, yeah, that's a main learning box, so let's go into the instruction manual. Let's go into the instruction manual. The instruction manual is very big. Of course, it's a main learning set. 
And no, I might not get the battle pack. Battle pack is cool and all. But you get the mail in the first pack. You get the girl in the second and the third. No one. So you get the um, you get Casper the friendly ghost in this one. Pretty cool figure. And then you, of course, get the fourth bag, which, of course, you get the two figures, which I suggest they put one in here, but they want you to build the whole set. Of course, you have the man wearing figure right here, which there's a build for a lot of building. And the first bag ends at. When does this end? Page. This page. Oh, yeah. Ends at 20, and then you get Caradoony. And then this page ends a bit early, too. Yeah. And then that ends on page 42. And then, of course, you start the legs. The legs are probably the difficult part about the whole build. Look at those legs. Remember that weird Titan, Teen Titan song? Look at those legs. Thumb legs are amazing. Anyway, of course, they have the, um, 84 right here, and of course, you get the Cardoon people. And of course, the whole bag ends at, um, there's the body, and you have to do the helmet thing, which I did show you. You have the shooting things, which you get one extra, of course, right there, so you get three total. I want to give you like shooters for three like that. It ends on 112. And yes, I built the top. I built the first bag yesterday, and then I started the new bag today. Of course, you can see all the new Star Wars sets, which I'm probably gonna get zero of them. Yeah, maybe one. I don't know. But of course, you have the Yoda, which I have 99% sure they're gonna make a baby Yoda version of this, and he's probably gonna look like trash. But he's probably going to be an SDCC version exclusive. And of course, they have the... Whoa! This is one that I'm very excited for. The 2020 version of Lego Scar... Star... I can't speak right now. Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And I'm so excited for this game. I just want it to come out now. But this game is going to come out 2020. And um, if you buy this on Amazon, this game... Don't get your hopes up like me, because this game comes out December. Yes, the game comes out in December. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. You can pre-order it right now, and you can pre-order it, like, whenever you want. Of course, this game comes out December. So don't get your hopes up. Get your hopes up for the new Marvel game that is coming out in May. That one I'm excited to play, Infinity War and Avengers... End game. I'm so excited to play the new Marvel game when it comes out in May. And of course, it says win, and I did a whole video on this, which I probably won't do a sequel. And there that is. Anyway, that is the Mandalorian set. I hope you guys liked today's video. Please comment, subscribe, and the notification bell. Uh, remember, on the 20th, on the 20th of March, it won't be in the morning. It won't be. It won't be. It will be in the afternoon. I'm 99% um, sure. That it will not be at night. But of course, that is the... Besides, I get out at 4. Um, Hawaiian time. But, and um, you can look at that up on your time. So, that is it for the... Um, which, if you live in California, it's a 2 or 3 hour difference. I don't know. But of course, that is the Mandalorian set. I hope you guys liked today's review. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys later for another video. Peace out. Bye.